One of the two surviving members of the notorious Texas 7 prison escapees might receive a new trial. That's the recommendation of the Tarrant County District Attorney. She says the trial judge made anti-Semitic remarks with bias against the defendant. Fox Wars' Dion Anglin has a closer look. Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, though nearly 20 years ago, this case reverberates in the minds of many North Texans, and now comes the possible retrial of one of the Texas 7 prison escapees, one of only two who remain alive. The opinion from Tarrant County DA Sharon Wilson recommends a new trial for death row inmate Randy Halprin, one of the Texas 7 prison escapees convicted of murdering Irving police officer Aubrey Hawkins. The opinion cites new evidence supporting the argument that Judge Vickers Cunningham, who presided over Halprin's 2003 trial, held a strong bias toward the defendant because he is Jewish. The document points out it is far more likely that Judge Cunningham held deep-seated animosity and prejudice toward Jewish people, that he acquired this animosity before Halperin's trial, and that he used anti-Semitic slurs when referring to Halperin years later. It goes on to say Cunningham's brother testified to statements by Cunningham referring to the applicant, Halperin, and his co-defendants in the Texas 7 as the Mexican, the queer, and the Jew. Certainly all human beings have certain biases. You assume the judges put those aside um, when they take the bunch and they're overseeing a trial. Former federal prosecutor and defense attorney Andrew Romani says the evidence and the timing of the alleged derogatory remarks by the judge are key. The brother testified that there were derogatory comments made particularly about these defendants during the time of the trial. Uh, that seems to be what they've emphasized in their briefs, just causing it, you know, what's referred to as a structural error, basically meaning that the error is so egregious, there's no requirement to show that it impacted the jury's verdict. Um, it's just an issue of um, when you have that sort of bias, it's hard to, to tell exactly how it impacted the judge. Halperin is one of only two of the Texas Seven still alive and awaiting execution. DA Sharon Wilson issued her opinion Wednesday morning. Her office appointed after Dallas County recused itself because of one of Cunningham's relatives is an employee. The document in summary states Cunningham's views create an objectively intolerable risk of bias in violation of the applicant's due process rights. Wormani believes a new trial, if granted by the Court of Criminal Appeals, would be challenging. There's inherent problems in trying a case that's this old. Um, witnesses might not be available. Their memories might not be as good as they were back then. Um, so it's challenging on multiple levels. Now, the state court of criminal appeals will have the final say as to whether a new trial is granted or not. If that is the case, it will return to Dallas County.